Let's talk about how you can become the most influential person in the room. So there's some different ingredients when it comes to you setting yourself up to stand above everybody else, to have more authority, to have more influence in a group of people. So what creates influence? What creates authority? Here's three things that I'm going to share about so that you can be more conscious, more aware, more intentional when you go into group settings so that you can cause yourself to stand out. So you can position yourself to have the most influence in that room. So here are three things that create influence, that create authority when it comes to being in groups. Number one, your title. Number two, your ability to deliver a message, your ability to communicate. And number three, the content that you're delivering. These are three things that will cause you to, you know, stand out above everybody else. What is your title? This is the first one. Your title will create a certain level of influence, right? It creates a certain level of authority right off the bat, right? So you walk in, my title is, hey, I'm Richard Martinez. I'm, you know, business owner. I'm a CEO or I'm a supervisor or I'm, you know, the top salesperson. Whatever your title is, it begins to set you up in other people's minds. You know, this implied authority, right? This like, oh, wow, he has that title. That means he must be somebody. He has a level of significance, a level of maturity, a level of experience for him to have that title, right? So already when you begin to share that title, it does give an implied authority in other people's minds. But on when it comes to creating authority, when it comes to creating uh, influence in a group, that's the lowest level of influence. If you use your title and your position to be your main instrument, your main tool to influence others, to persuade others, to lead others, you are operating at the lowest level of leadership. When people do, you know, what you tell them to do because you have the title, because they have to do it, right? Like, because you have this title, you're in this position. So when you say, hey, I need you to do this, they do it because they have to because they want to keep their job right now that's good because they do it but it's bad because they're doing it because they have to do it rather than wanting to do it so if you use your title to get people to move and do things you are operating at the lowest level what you want to do is create real influence not because of your title get your title throw it away get your position throw it away they're not going to listen to you because of your title they're going to listen to you because the kind of leader that you are They're going to listen to you because you produce results yourself. They're going to listen to you because you're passionate and you you tell them where they're going, where we're going together, what's in it for them. You're able to envision them. You're able to recruit them to get them committed. You're able to evaluate them, empower them. You're able to to train them, right? You're, You're investing your time yourself into them. That is what creates that influence at a deeper level, that greater level of of authority. It's not because you have a title and a position. So think about the same thing when you're in a group, even if it's a bunch of strangers, okay? Okay, maybe you have a title, maybe they have a title, doesn't matter. Because a lot of times people don't have a title, they go into a room with a bunch of people who have great titles, right? And then what do they do? They begin to shrink themselves. They put themselves lower than them because they have this title and this position. But you you need to throw that away because now you know the truth, that the title, the title and position is the lowest level of influence. So even if you go into a room and they all have this special title, this special you know, position, don't get in your mind, don't be intimidated because you can be the one that leaves with the most authority and the most influence if you learn these two other things because that's the lowest level. So how do we make ourselves stand out? So let's say we go into you know, a room full of people who have great titles, who have you know, important positions. Now, how do you set yourself apart when you're in a room full of people who have a title and a position? Now you need to go to the second part, which is delivery. Delivery is gonna make you stand out in this group. It's gonna make you to have more influence and more authority because you know how to deliver a message. It's not just about what you say, it's about how you say it. Can you engage them? Can you create interest? Can you inspire them? Can you motivate them because the way that you're talking, because the rhythm that you're talking in, because the excitement that you're in, right? Like you're clapping like this, you have joy. And when you're sharing things because you're so passionate, you're so convicted about what you're saying right how you deliver the message your facial expressions right that has a big part of how you deliver your body language your movement the energy the attitude all these things have to do with your delivery right so if you go into a room if you want to make yourself stand out have more influence have more authority you have to learn how to have 
the right expressions, the right attitude and right energy, the right body language, the right tone, pitch, volume, and rhythm when you're delivering a message so that way you can engage them, get their attention, and create interest. Right? This is how you're going to make yourself stand out. You're going to make yourself noticeable and memorable in this group of people. Remember, the whole goal is here is to make yourself more influential, more have more authority within this group of people. So we said title is the first way, but let's get rid of that. Right? The next thing is we need to step it up in our communication skills, in our ability to engage people through story, through you know, our expressions. All these different things have to do with delivery. That's how you begin to set yourself apart from everyone else. Now, what if you go into a group? They all have titles and they all have the ability to communicate effectively. They all have the ability to deliver a message with power, with influence. Now, how do you make yourself stand out? Now we get to the part where we get to the third part where it's about your content. It's not about just what you're saying and how you're saying it. It's about the actual substance on the words that you're putting out there, right? It's, is it resonating with the hearers? Is it something that's bringing value to their current situation? Or are you just talking, performing, you know, making them laugh, which is fine, but you're not really giving them something of value that's gonna hit their heart, that's gonna make them, you know, be a better person, that's gonna help them to reach a goal, that's gonna help them to solve a problem, that's gonna make something more convenient, you know, that's gonna help them to heal from something in the past, that's gonna help them to get clear on something they weren't clear on. Like, you need to bring some kind of value in your content because that is what's gonna start to set you apart when you're in a room full of people who have titles, when you're in a room full of people who who everyone in there can talk, engage, and deliver a message. How are you gonna stand out? By adding valuable content. How do you do that? By listening to the people who are there. Now you're engaging on more of a deeper level, not just a rational intellect level. Now you're getting down into the emotions, into the desires, into the dreams, into the fears, into the goals. Now you're connecting to them on a deeper level and adding value into something that's really important to them. You're adding value onto something that keeps them awake at night, something that worries them, something that gets them excited, something that's significant and important to them. You begin to read them, to understand their need, understand their personality, and now you begin to speak not generally, but very specific into their soul, and it begins to impact them with the content that you're now delivering. Now those people who have big titles, now those people who can deliver a message, now they begin to open themselves up because now you're saying something that really relates to them, that's really impacting them, that they really, wow, you're saying something, you're telling me, you're talking to me in a way that people don't talk to me. And I really appreciate this. And, and now all of a sudden, they're not caring about titles, they're not caring about anything else because you just impacted their life at a real level. That's how you begin to separate yourself and begin to be the most influential people, person in the room, even though they have titles, even though they're all powerful in the way that they can engage and deliver a message, even amongst those type of people, you can still set yourself apart by being effective, by being smart and impacting people in what really matters to them. That is how you become the most influential person in the room.